What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and today we're taking another look at the Antminer L9. Well, may as well, because seeing how this is the most profitable piece of hardware you could possibly own right now, this thing is an absolute beast. That making over $80 to $90 a day or something, it's absolutely insane. Now with that also comes higher price tags. So these miners have been going up in price. Every other ASIC will be going up in price very soon. So if you're still on the offense about any ASIC miner, I'd highly urge you guys to hurry up and get it because pretty soon it's going to be too late. Now the point of this video right here is we're going to look at this. We're going to look at the numbers I've been mining on for it for a couple weeks shy of three weeks now. I did first turn it on and make my first video on September 12th is when it released. So based on that date, we're going to look at everything I have earned so far on this miner. Then we're going to see, should we have just bought the coin instead or should we continue mining and what future of this mining through the next bear market and stuff could look like. So here is all the results you need to know about an Altminer L9. Crypto prices are on the rise and so is the cost of mining hardware and pretty soon it's going to be way too late. But if you are in the market for an ASIC miner today, head on over to Crypto Miner Bros. They have all the latest and greatest brands from all the known manufacturers. They have a miner for everything, whether it's Bitcoin mining, Dogecoin Litecoin mining, Alephium mining, Caspa Mining, they got a miner for you. Use that link down in the description and code RABID will grant $70 off each individual item. Shipping fees are also included in the price and drop value does help import fees be much, much lower. If you're in the market for an ASIC miner, Crypto Miner Bros has what you need. And remember guys, we're in that bull run. Prices are going to continue to go up and pretty soon they're going to be way too expensive. So you're not going to want to hesitate. All right, guys, so let's start off on mining now here, looking at the 16 giga hash version, which is what I have of the app miner L9. And we can see before any type of power cost, it's saying $63 and 68 cents a day. Now this is not entirely accurate because you are actually a decent amount more profitable here because I've mentioned it lots before that a lot of these profit calculators and stuff are only basing everything on the major pools. And those pools only mine Dogecoin, Bell's coin and Litecoin, which means you're not seeing the profit from some of the bigger paying coins here do the lower network hash rate and things like that. So coming into mining Dutch, we can actually see here $86.64 a day is what this miner did make in the past 24 hours of mining. So now let's take a look at the numbers and statistics of this versus buying the coin, running the miner and so on. So L9 ROI, the price when I got this one was $12,699. The current price of this miner now is 15,299. Now, if you technically use that, if you could sell it, you could already say you ROI'd it and you never even turned it on. I don't like doing any of that BS stuff out there. I like to see the coins at mind and mine to it. I don't count resale value into any of this, but we can obviously see bull runs come, minor prices increase, even on older L3 pluses, old ancient miners from everywhere, those mining prices are increasing as well. Anyway, moving forward here. So if I would have bought Doge then, Doge was only 10 cents, a little over 10 cents. I could have bought 123,651 Dogecoin for this $12,699. Doge is currently sitting at a price of a little over 41 cents at the time of recording this video. If you currently buy it at the price now of $15,299, you're only going to get 36,954 Dogecoin. Now here is the total earnings I have mined so far. So at first I was on via BTC, I was mining Litecoin and merge mining Dogecoin and Bells. And I continued on that pool until the Bells emission did drop 90%. At this point in time, I am dumping on my Bells because I'm swap profit switching everything in the Doge, but I just want to stack the Bells up until that nerf did happen. And at this point we can see, I now have 2.146 Litecoin. I'm sitting at 14,813 Dogecoin and I have a 116.55 bells coin so that does work out to be 210 dollars worth of ltc 6132 dollars worth of doge and 127 dollars worth of bells coin hopefully these two here ultimately have a nice pump hopefully all three do but that is a grand total as of right now and current prices 
of $6,470. So I am slightly over 50% ROI in under three months time. That's actually pretty darn good. Now, coming back to the price then, and Doge was only slightly over 10 cents, we can see if I would have bought Doge, I would currently be at $51,191. Obviously, a lot more than the 6470 that I currently have right now. So buying the coin when this first released definitely looks like the better option. Now, obviously, I don't like buying coins. Yes, you would have made a lot more money, but I think of mining revenue as long term. It acts like a storage of you know profits, acts as your own bank account. And I just use my coins whenever I need some money or if something severely pumps, then you sell it at that point in time. So the long longevity of mining is what I like as well as, you know, people spend countless money on any type of hobby and you ultimately, they don't pay you back anything where mining actually has some return here. But definitely it looks like hands down, if you would have bought the coin, you definitely would have made a lot more. So now let's look at the long-term mining. So currently right now we have 209 Doge per day or $86.52 about. Currently, this is mining about 76,285 Doge per year. Yes, this is going to drop. Network hash rate is going to keep climbing. L9s are starting to ship in the next future batches and so on throughout the next year or so, ultimately until Dogecoin peaks and we'll see a super spike because massive FOMO will come in if Dogecoin hits something like a dollar or something. So yes, yields are going to drop. This is just based on the current numbers right now. But we're seeing 76,285 Doge per year by the next bear market. So this is counting after 2025 starting in 2026 after doge peaks over the next four years of the next bear market and you want the most efficient hardware you're not going to be able to compete with some stupid gold shell miner against all the l9s and you know the uh, the alpha pex dg miners and all those other things which are a lot more efficient the gold shell miners just aren't going to be very good so you do need the nice efficient miners and obviously this is the l9 one of the most efficient out there so in theory based on the current numbers over the next four years after this so 2026 to 2029 when the next bear market to next boom happens for next bull run we should mine around 305,000 coins which is way more than if we would have originally just bought it, obviously, because here you're going to cash it out. Once you have money in your pocket, you're just going to burn it, and who knows what happens at that point. This is where long-term jeopardy comes in, and we can see that we could be making a crap ton while mining at high-efficiency L9 standards through the next bear market and capitalizing in 2029 beyond our beliefs. But again, guys, remember that network hash rate is going to continue to climb. So 305000 right now is reasonable. Reasonable, but will it actually happen? Probably not. I'm assuming this number will drop probably down to around maybe 200 to 220. And maybe that's a little high. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But that is my plan here. But long term mining, we should be moving into the next cycle after this one with around $200,000 plus in Doge coins, as long as we see at least a dollar. We still have no idea how it's gonna prevail throughout this cycle yet. All right, guys, so there we have it. There is the numbers currently of the app miner L9 currently mining Doge for the past two and a half months or so, and what it looks like if I would have just bought Dogecoin instead of buying this miner. So what do you guys think down in the comments section about this, and what do you think about the long-term thing? Now, in theory, we have a little over 14,000 Dogecoin here, so if Doge does hit a dollar, this has already ROI'd in just uh, you know two and a half months, which is insane. But at the same time, if Doge hits a dollar and we did buy the coin, we'd have over $130,000. So pretty, you know, big swings there, independent, you know, by the miner or not. But again, mining is a nice hobby. Mining, you know, a lot of people like to use daily revenue like myself and so on. So for me, I don't think I'll ever buy the coin. I'll continue the mine. I'm a miner at heart and I know a lot of you guys are also. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.